Hello, friends. Well, I am just curious what everyone is doing for their shopping needs. Are you going somewhere specific? I would like to know. I have a curious mind. I would like to know if you're shopping. Hi, Maranatha. Are you shopping somewhere? Wesley, I know you're not shopping anywhere. I know y'all are shopping probably right there. You're probably killing deer. I don't know how you're getting your food. Maranatha, are you using a service? Are you shopping somewhere? Because today, I went to Costco. Yes, this is what I wore in Costco today. Yes. Renata, you've been proud of me. I almost broke out in singing, but I did not because honestly I was too exhausted. The environment is exhausting in the shopping environment. I am sad to say that I used to go shopping, and when I went shopping, I was the friendliest person around. I always had my head up. I was always greeting people. I was always saying hello to people. I was always smiling, but nobody can see my smile. Nobody can see me smile with this thing on. So nobody knows I'm friendly anymore. And it's honestly, I'm just kind of sad because nobody knows I'm friendly. Nobody knows I'm a kind sort. But on the other hand, nobody knows I'm exhausted either. <laughs> nobody knows I got junk going on because Nobody cares because everybody's in their own little world. So today, I have my little shopper's mask. I don't know if you have one. Not to do sales pitch, but I got this from uh, Eddie and Adele Klein's store, Water Tree Richmond East. And it's Nano Silver, Nano Nano. And I put some essential oils in it from Young Living. I put some RC in it. And so when I have it on, it smells amazing. So anyway, I just like to know where everybody's shopping. You know, I have my gloves on today. I had my, my little things that I clean everything with. And I do, listen. You can call me paranoid all you want, but I actually clean uh, the containers. I went to Costco today. Costco. Costco. Costco was exhausting today. I don't know where you're shopping. Michael, where are you shopping? Veronica, where are y'all shopping? Or are you shopping online? Or are you using a service? I know someone who works for a service. And so that service picks up their groceries. I don't know what they charge, because so far I've gone to get my own groceries. But today might have been my last day, because it was exhausting. And do you know the environment was exhausting? And usually I'm the light. Oh my gosh, y'all, pray for me. I'm usually the light. Usually I'm like, woohoo, yay, this is all good, this is fun. I wasn't like that today. Makes me not want to go out anymore because it makes me feel bad for people that come around me because I am in and I'm out. That is my experience today. I have my cleaner I took with me, my wet naps I took with me, my gloves I took with me, my thing I took with me, and my piece. I take peace with me wherever I go. I take peace with me. I'm just curious. So, Wesley, small town. It's when we shop. There are not many people around. So, social distancing is not an issue. I heard something was changing, but I have not heard what it was. But I will tell you, today, there were police everywhere. Wherever I turn, there were police cars. Everywhere. And... I'm not the conspiracy theorist person, 
but it's almost like something was happening that I haven't been told about. It was very, very odd. And I'm just wondering if anybody else has heard anything. Because I would like to know. You know, the best place for the news is Facebook. You know, there isn't a better place, honestly. Deborah Evans, where are you shopping? Are, are you using a service? This is an infomercial today. I don't have a spiritual lesson, though. I do have a message on forgiveness. I do have a message on forgiveness. But I'm waiting to have the strength and the energy to talk about it. How's that? So where are y'all shopping? Michael, where are you shopping? Veronica, where are you shopping? I love your name. Las Maravillas de Paqui. Where are you shopping? In Maranatha. I know you, Maranatha. You're not going out, are you? I bet you have somebody bring you food. People should bring you food because you're precious and you've been through a hard time. Anyway, I don't have anything special to share. Oh, I could share. I have buttload to say. But honestly, I just want to check in. I like to see how y'all are doing. What's happening out there? What's happening out there in your grocery stores? In your um, playgroups that are not supposed to be existent anymore? Deborah, I haven't needed for two weeks. I may try and get a delivery. Honestly, Deborah, I think I'm delivery, I'm pro delivery now. Today, when I went out to the grocery store, people don't look you in the eye. People avoid you. They walk around you. It was the most interesting environment. And I have to tell you, I didn't do that much to change it. And normally, I am fun. I am happy. Normally, I'm all about that sunshine. But today, honestly, I have to admit, I put on my mask and I walked through the store. And this is what you saw. So if I was smiling at you, you wouldn't even know it anyway. I mean, can you see I'm smiling? Hello. Can you tell? No, you can't tell. <laughs> nobody could tell. And nobody was looking at each other in the eye. Now, not everybody had gloves on. Interestingly enough, the cashiers didn't have gloves on. And they're uh, touching everybody's stuff. Which I thought that was interesting. I'm not paranoid, but I'm like, you know. But then that wouldn't matter because what was in the gloves would still pass on to the next thing because it stays on plastic like, I don't know, three or four days anyway, something like that. It stays on human skin, what, three hours? Uh, stays on cardboard. I can't remember how many days. It was even on a cruise ship for like 17 days on like metal. So um, it is wise to clean things. Just out of, not out of paranoia, but just out of straight up wisdom, you know, um, I just think it's wise. I mean, I'm, I don't go out often. I am um, sequestered in. When I do go out, I do go protected. I admit that. I go with all my little tools. All my tools. All my tools. All my tools. All my tools. I go with all my tools. But I'm curious what you do. You don't have to smile, but your eyes show God's eyes. His love, how he cares. Look at people's eyes, mask or no mask. Oh, yes, Betty Flores. This is true. We can see in each other's eyes if we're looking. But most people were so intentional about getting in and getting out. Such a different environment than it was a month ago. You know? Uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, just a very different environment, really. Very different. And I'm just curious what y'all are finding out there in your grocery stores and the people who you see. 
if you are seeing anybody. I'm curious what you're doing with your time. Craig walks around the neighborhood every day after he gets off of work, which he works next in his office next door, right here. And uh, he's keeping up with all the neighbors. He knows what neighbors have kids, what neighbors don't have kids. He knows what neighbors are doing projects. He knows uh, what ducks died this week because we have a neighbor who keeps up with the ducks. And it's a man. <laughs> he keeps up with uh, the single lady down the road that uh, has a boyfriend. He keeps up with the kids on the bicycles. Man, I'm like, dude, you know more about the neighborhood than I do. <laughs> Much more about the neighborhood than I do. So I'm curious if y'all are keeping up with your neighbors. Are you keeping up with your family? Uh, my sisters and I talk on the phone. We haven't really seen each other. Um, Sandy was over here briefly the other day, but we really aren't having intentional time. And so we're all really just digging in deep to um, hearing from God and trusting Him and being at peace and being content and that sort of thing while we're working out our individual issues. You know, I don't know about you, but when you're quiet and you're no longer going, 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 all your issues come to the surface. Do you notice how sometimes you avoid any of your issues? You just avoid yourself? Have you ever done that before? Have you ever just avoided you? And you just go, 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 and then all of a sudden you're forced to stop, 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 and now you have to face you, you, you? Well, I think that's happening to a lot of us right now. It's a great time to take account for your heart. It's a great time to look inside yourself, not with such strong introspection that you get lost in an, an analytical narrative. No. But it's a great opportunity to stop, to pause, see how your righteousness is working for you, see how your peace is sustaining you, See if you're content or if you're complaining. See what the fruit of your own mouth is. It's a great time to see who you really are because honestly, when we go, 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 I don't think we keep up with who we really are. I think we get lost in what we do. And you know, what's interesting to me is all the preachers are coming out of the woodwork right now. All of them. Because they're Sunday platform is gone. Now, many preachers were already preaching online because that's where many audiences are and that's where people are hungry. So there are many people who aren't churched and they want a place to find some peace and some solace and some clarity regarding life, death, and everything in between. But everybody's coming out of the work work right now online. And I tell you what, it's hell for ext extroverts. It is hell for a bunch of extroverts. But the introverts, we're pretty happy. So I'm a high introvert and a high extrovert. I'm probably the most confused person on the planet. Because I need both. I need time by myself and I need time with people. But today, when I went to Costco, by the time I was finished, I thought to myself, you know what? I don't think I want to go to the store again. I think I'm, I'd like to figure out a way to have things delivered to me because it just wasn't a pleasant experience. And so, anyway, I just popped on to say hello. I have nothing spiritual. I have nothing uh, real strong. Just honestly was thinking about humanity and how we're all walking out this life. I was taking a breath. I'm taking another breath. Mm -hmm. I bless you guys. I'd love to know in the comments if you are going anywhere. If you are going anywhere, where, where is it? Are you allowed to go someplace or are you stuck at home? I mean, is your country or your state 
prohibiting you from leaving your house? Or are you able and free to roam around your cabin right now? Right now we're able to roam, but I tell you what, the police were out in full force today. So I don't know what's happening. I'm not the uh, spread the terror kind of person. All that gets on my nerves. But something seemed to be going on in the Katy Houston area today. What is it that um, Wes says? We have just one neighbor in this RV park. We talk and encourage her every day. Karen and I see the workers at the stores or go and get a lunch to go. It's a small mom and pops. We bless them and thank them, and they just beam. Amen. Stephanie, so you use Instacart. Are you happy with that? Is it expensive? I'd love to know more. You can either PM me or tell me here, because maybe somebody else would like to know. I've not used Instacart personally. I know someone who uh, started working at an Instacart. And so they're enjoying it so far, but they are exposed. They're out there uh, where everybody is. And so uh, from what I understand, they do their best. to. Um, once they get home, they sequester themselves and get all clean and all that kind of jazz. You know. Hello, Mrs. Gonzalez. Beautiful girl, beautiful woman. Tell me, how is it in your place? You are serving on the front lines. Tell me, how is it? Can you comment? Would love to know. The only front lines I've seen has been Costco and Kroger. Well, Mari, I'm okay. I'm taking it day at a time. These glasses are giving me a headache. It's good to see your face. It really, really is. I'm going to put on other glasses. Those are hurting my head already. Let's see. People are still panicking over toilet paper. Yes, well, today at Costco, they didn't have any. But I heard... Oh, I'm having trouble breathing. I heard that the Costco in the Woodlands was super stocked. This one here at 99 and was not so super stocked. I had a surgeon test positive for the COVID-19. Wow, honey. Wow. So, whoa, what happens now? Usually when you're a surgeon, you have a specialty in something and, um, wow. Yes, are y'all even allowed to go wash your hands frequently? Because, you know, wearing gloves, you're still wearing the same gloves, touching the same things, and infecting the same things, unless you change it all the time. The surgeon had no symptoms at all, and he tested positive. How did he test then? Did he get sick suddenly? What, what on earth happened there, Mari? My goodness gracious. That is disturbing that there was no signs of it. Maybe he was too busy to exhibit some. Wow. Mm -mm. Anybody else know someone who has tested positive? I actually have a friend who had um, knows three people who passed away from it. I know two that um, are still recovering. And I know a doctor who has had three or four cases that he was able to treat they were able to treat effectively through holistic means. It was kicked out pretty fast. The surgeon did have symptoms, but the staff has had any symptoms. Okay. What happens now if the surgeon exposed all the uh, staff? I thought it had like a 2 to 14 day incub incubation period. Um, doesn't that make it a little dangerous? Don't they have to be sequestered or something? Or is, uh, are the medical people, um, what do you call it, um, exonerated from that kind of uh, rule? Wow. So apparently one of, the, one of the ladies here is in a situation where 
um, one of the medical staff had uh, COVID-19 and apparently is being treated. Wow. i tell you what. Um, during surgeries, but what about the other time? You're still around people, right? Yeah. I tell you what, it's... <sighs> I this these are I thought the last few days I was thinking you know we in America we are so um, and please hear me I'm not saying we're spoiled but we are so accustomed to going someplace getting our needs met right we get our needs met and we get impatient when we don't get them met you know and. So being sequestered for many is very difficult because you're used to go, go, go. You used to have, have, have. You know, you're used to um, getting what you need quickly. Well, this is the thing. The quarantine time has passed for you. Okay, so your quarantine time has passed. The 14 days have passed for those that were exposed with the man who had the COVID. Okay. Wow. Well, that's a blessing. What about the people he operated on? Did uh, any of them have any of them been contacted and that kind of thing? I'm just curious. Anyway, what do you do when you can't get what you can't get your needs met quickly? You know, I tell you, it really makes you stop and take a breath and wonder. Uh, how to proceed because I'm noticing and aren't there are shenanigans taking place and it's not the kids doing the shenaniganing it's adults adults are being shenaniganing adults are being loud 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 in the middle of the night not kids and so it's so interesting to me it's like wow uh, if you don't know what to do, you don't know what to do. And I tell you, God has been really talking to me about being instead of doing. Just stopping and taking a breath. And so in the middle of working, I work online. I, I go outside several times a day and I just stop. I just stop. And I wait. Because... If you just go, 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 you're going to miss yourself coming and going, and you're going to avoid yourself at all costs. This is a great opportunity to stop and look you in the eye, see yourself in the eye, and let yourself be exposed to the life and the light and the love of God so uh, hearts can be healed in this time while our physical bodies take a break from the go, go, go. And I have to tell you, I'm exhausted and I'm not go, go. That's okay though, because I'm in a rewiring, I'm in a re reformation, I'm in a new day, trusting God in new ways. Getting still in ways I haven't in years. And I'm thanking God about things that I haven't thanked Him for in years. Years, years, years. So being content and not complaining. Being thankful and not criticizing. These are beautiful things. Oh yes, Marty. Be still and know He is God. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Be still, grab a hold. And know he is right here inside with us for the long ride, right? For the long ride. Anyway, I bless you guys. Craig just got back from his walk. Miss Pam, Pam, I bless you, dear one. I bless you, dear one. Um, Praying God's blessings over you and your family. 
and your family, Pam. Can you hear me, Pam? Praying blessings over you and your family for certain. I bless you, Miss Mari. I'm going to private message you, Mari. Private message you. Refresh, revive, and restore. Amen. Those are good words. Good words. Anyway, bless you guys. I'd still like to know where y'all are shopping. If you're using a service or not. Instacart is one person's. Curious what else other people are using. Anyway, bless you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Yes, I hear. Yes. I'm so sorry, Pam. I'm so sorry, honey. Father, I just, if you're a praying person, just agree with me. God, we pray in agreement for Pam and her family and the passing of her mom. Father, we release peace. Fresh, 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 refreshing and renewal. We release life and light. Wow, you had a long time with your mom, Pam. My mom passed when I was 18. So I only knew her 18 years. But the, wow, the largeness of you knowing her that long. It's a long time to know someone, honey. I bless you and release life into that place where your mama was. I release life into that place where your mama lived. I release love into that place where you will miss her. Oh, I just bless this family. I bless them on the passing of their mom. Release shalom inside their spirit, souls, and bodies. God, we thank you that you know every hair on our head, every breath that we have in front of us. You know every moment in our times. You know our inside. You know our outside. God, you know. You know our coming and our going. You know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. And God, I thank you that you are our shield. I thank you that you are our glory. I thank you that you lift our head. And I thank you that you hear us. I thank you that you answer us. And I thank you that you arise on our behalf. I thank you, God, that you bless us, that you receive us, and that you're for us. I bless these families, Lord, and the loss of those loved ones. God, I release your life and your love. <laughs> Father, where there's brokenness, God, come and just fill them. Where there's hopeless, hopelessness, bring a great expectation. Where there's sadness, Father, bring a new day of joy. Where there's division, Cause there to have a, a reconciliation come forth for union and unity. God, I bless these families. I thank you for their lives. And God, I pray for Mari. God, I pray for her and their staff and the, the surgeon who got ill. God, we pray that he would recover uh, quickly, that no one would be impacted by this virus we just release the power of your blood between them and the virus release your protection about them a hedge of protection about them 
I think that Mari is a strong light. She's like a protective agent. She brings light and causes all things to come into the light. So God, I thank you that light is your love. So I bless her and I bless all these workers. God, we also bless the pastors. <laughs> God, um, wow. God, we do bless pastors who um, have a word in due season. We bless pastors who don't have a word in due season. God, we just bless all the pastors. The pastors that uh, care for people. God, we bless them and release your life and your love and your living and your protection. We thank you from our spirits alive in Christ. Amen. Bless you guys. I started light, but it's heavy. Sorry. I guess we can never get away from uh, who we really are. Intimacy and prayer, right? No matter what, it always comes back. <laughs> anyway. Love somebody today, even if it's even if you just write them a note, put it in the mail, or send them a text, or maybe send somebody groceries if you can. Blessings to y'all. Until soon. Bye.